Hello, I'm Eagle Eye 1001, aka James, and today we are going to be playing a uh, Kerbal Space Program. This is the third episode. I haven't posted the first two because of slight like, technical issues with my computer. Um, my good friend Animan4433 forgot to tell me that you had to uninstall all your mods before you tried to update. So I tried to update with all my mods installed and. Let's just say it almightily fucked up my operating system. So I've got the game back a while now trying to rebuild everything. But at the moment I'm ready to start doing it again. I've got two copies of the game. One is vanilla, uh, no mods. And this one, which we're playing on right now, is mods. But I prefer this one better. Because it's got a special part that I like in it. This part. Yay. If you, I zoom in here, you'll be able to see that it is the Gemini command pod that NASA used. Except this time it's got Kerbal States instead of the United States. Asking its glory. Ah. But anyway, today we are going to be flying a simple flight. This is career mode, by the way. I think. Yes, it is. Uh, with this... Um, Command pod, really. So, I've created two ships. Ignore that first one, actually, you know what? I might just delete that because that was a fuck up. Here we go. This is a little lander that I designed using that. It's not much, just a standard type of lander anyway, so. Here we go. Who we choose? Let's choose. Bob and Bill because, well, I like Jeb, but just I prefer Bob because he's more smart. Oh yes, and I recently discovered, after recording the Kerbal Space Program glitch one, that um, you can, uh, I can sort of see my keyboard that's right in front of my laptop screen instead of the one down there. So, um, which you can't see, it's just black, but anyway, never mind. Um, we, uh... I discovered that I can use this one because, well, you know, I wasn't thinking correctly. So let's uh, fly. Dum da dum da dum. This is the inside of the command pod. And I like this one very, very much. I think, I'm not sure if my friend Danny Man might be getting this game, providing he gets a computer. But anyway. If he does, I'll certainly be recommending this mod to him. Uh, oh, shite. Shite at. Uh, Alt F12. Infinite Fuel, forgot about that. Alt F12. There we go, because otherwise this thing would never have worked. Now we just need to wait for it to start to go up again. Yes, there we go. But anyway, what was I talking about? What was I talking about? Oh yes, Andyman4433 might be getting this game. Anyway, if you want to get this mod, uh, this guy called Fizz Fizzank made the original one, which comes with tons of parts from the um, NASA space program. But I've gone to Kerbal Spaceport, that's the site for getting mods, but anyway, I've put up on my um, my profile this capsule released singularly. Sing sing singularly? Singularly, I think. Uh, anyway, but anyway, I've released the capsule on its own, and I'm having some slight technical issues, but you know what, that'll eventually blow over, hopefully. Um, let's just check, where are we? Anywhere near? Nowhere near. But anyway, once I get it fixed, um, my account on Kerbal Spaceport is eagleeye1001, 1001, same as my YouTube account. And I've got some mods there, which I've actually forgotten to install one of my own mods now, I've think of, think of it think, thunk, thought about it. 
So, one, I'm just, this isn't going to be a very long video. I'm just going to get into a simple orbit. Oh no, no, not that. Didn't want that. Wait, are we able to go to the moon? No, we're not. It's not in a good position. See the way the moon is there? If I was to go for a simple transfer, it would have to be somewhere about there. So, that's that's not possible at the moment. Oh, God, we've got a good apoapsis. That's the highest point away from Kerbin. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Now we can time warp. Time accelerate. The best thing in the world. Now let's burn. This should get us into a nice little orbit. Then we'll do some sciencey stuff. Which uh, is now part of career mode. And, uh... Oh god, that doesn't sound good. What's that? Oh no, that's just the engine. I hope. Uh... Um, 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 and uh, nice little part. What? Oh god, uh, cut engine. Time accelerate. Now, here we go. This should be good. I don't know what I did last time. Something went wrong. Probably me, but possibly the computer. <sighs> so this is going to take a couple of seconds. Uh... Like and subscribe if you like my videos, which I hope you do. Please tell me, tell me in the comments if you like my videos. Is there any way to improve them? I am saving up for a capture card at the moment so I can do like GTA videos or maybe Battlefield 4 videos, which I was the first person in my town to get it. Deluxe Edition. In GameStop, the Deluxe Edition to pre order was 70 euro and the normal edition was 60 euro. So, if you're anyway good at maths, you would have bought the Deluxe Edition. Anyway, so I am trying to get some screen recording software up, but that didn't really work out last time for some reason. Uh, do I have a periaps? Lowest point away. Let's just check. Okay, I've got a periaps. How high is it? Oh, God. There. We're perfectly, perfectly in an orbit. Beautiful shot. Absolutely beautiful shot. Nah, yeah, well too bad. I'm recording this, so I can't take photos. Or even have the time on my hands to take screenshots. So, as you can see, I'm warping the hallway around here. I uh, cannot warp faster than 50 while well, below 1200 meters. Bloody, bloody, blah. There's the moon in the background. Woo! Come on. There we go. So we're back again. Now let's see. Who will be doing the sciencey stuff? Let's get bo uh, Bob. Bob. Yeah, Bob. Bob out to do the sciencey stuff. EVA report. So many things, so little to describe. Let's keep that data. God, oh god. Holding the note in one hand and trying to fly this guy back to the capsule in the other is pretty tricky. So let's just alt go down, shift go up, forward, side F, forward. There we are. We're back. Now, extend panels. Let's see how this thing looks when fully deployed. Just once we've got this done here, uh, we shall go for the orbit. This is the thing fully deployed. So, do you want to go to the orbit? Yeah, let's go to the orbit. Sure, why not? This is going to be quite a short episode. Oh, no, not 943. Uh, scratch that. Um, not short. Wait, what did that just say? thought it said something about parachutes. No. 
crew report. It seems that we are very much in space now. The sky seems to be mostly below us. Kerbal nonsense. As usual. Okay, so let's turn around. Point retrograde. Which means that we just slow ourselves down so much that we aren't in an orbit anymore. Actually, might as well detach the parachute cap. Bye bye. Is that little thing floating off there? That's the parachute cap. And have the parachutes ready to deploy. As you might have just seen my staging move. Well, anyway. Let the burn! Oh, there goes the parachute cap. Let's see where we're landing. L you know what? Do you know what? Let's try to land back at the KSC. If that's possible. KSC is... Kerbal Space Center is right there. Exactly at that point. Uh, see there. Exactly there. So, Kerbin, by the way, is a pretty small planet compared to Earth. Like, this thing, I think it's roughly the size of the moon. And the smallest object in the game, once we've landed, I'll actually show you. Gilly is probably about the size of maybe, maybe Europe, I think. Not sure. I'm sure of that. Let's see, are we coming down? Oh god, SAS, forgot to put SAS on. Let's see if we can land there. Oh, no, wrong way, wrong way. There we go, this way. Sorry, I'm just trying to sort things out here. Uh we burn this way again? Yes, we burn this. Ah! Bollocks! Fick! I'm not sure if you just saw that, but that was the program files. That I'm in the process of editing. So if we go X there, slow down a bit. Just a tiny bit. Think it would be only fitting. Okay, let's just quick save. Quick saving, there we go. Uh, okay, the parachutes are deployed. Let's just put the landing gear down for safety precautions. Oh, actually, no, we're going to re-entry, so that's not a good idea. You will soon see the fires of re-entry again, if you guys watch my Deep Space Nine video. I think you saw re-entry effect in that. Did you? Oh, bollocks. Bother, bother, bollocks, bollocks. Okay, we're coming down nowhere near the KSE. Okay, this is just making it worse. Sorry guys, we're not coming near Gerbil Space Center. Ah, uh, there it is, see it? I'm not sure if you can see it there. That's where we took off, right there, exactly. That little jutty outy thingy. Launch pad. And here we have the fires of re-entry. And this is what it looks like from Bob's seat. Oh, burn. Slow down, slow down. Oh, this is not going to end well, I can <coughs> tell you. Wait, maybe it is. Let's slow down below 100. Yeah, that should be fine. 
God, 15 minutes into recording. Oh, shite. Shite that. I'm gonna have to do things to my channel now to put up more than 15 minute recordings. Oh, bollocks, this should be fun. Anyway, here we are. And poof! Four times speed warp. That's good. And here we are. We should be touching down soon. Oh! Back. Landing legs! Landing legs! Yes, barely. Just remembered. Whew! Might as well take a surface sample. Holomatic claps the landing legs. Who's going to take the surface sample? Sample. Well, Bob got to do the EVA, so it's Bill's turn. And fall. <laughs> Controlled fall. EVA report. Surface sample. And plant the flag. My famous tri stripe. This is my stri tri stripe. Like, nobody else can use it. Success. I spelt that wrong, I think. You know what, screw it. <coughs> Successful landing. There we go. See that? That is the tri stripe. Marvel in all its glory. Now let's recover vessel. It says recover vessel, yep. We're actually recovering a Kerbal. So does his spacesuit make him a vessel? Uh, let's just recover Bob. Because we can't leave Bob leave his head out there, can we? Kim and I too. Let, oh, uh, I promised I would show you Gilly, the smallest thing in the game. Stupid me. No, let's just zoom out. Zoom, 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 zoom. Eve. Focus in on that. Focus on Gilly. This is the smallest thing. <coughs> if you jump on this thing, it takes over tr two, two and a half minutes, two and a third of minutes, 200 seconds to land just after jumping. I haven't landed there myself, but I've watched Scott Manley do it. Check out his channel, good YouTuber. Anyway, so this is Gilly, and I've been Eagle Eye 1001. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.